Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala nu relates that the last person to come out of hell and the last person to come out of hell and enter paradise will be that person who will crawl out of the fire of hell. He will crawl, he will walk, he will stumble, he will fall. Crawling, walking, stumbling, he will leave the fire of hell and he will enter paradise. Now my young friends, see if you can picture this in your mind's eye. And remember, this is the last person coming out of hell and the last person to enter paradise. He's been in the depths of hell, probably for millions and millions and millions and millions of years. In the depths of hell, paying the price of sin, paying the price of disobedience, paying the price of neglect. My friends, he's been punished in a manner like never before. He's been tortured in a manner that the human mind cannot even comprehend. My young friends, there was no respite. So he's been in this condition in the depths of hell for millions and millions of years, paying the price of sin and disobedience. My friends, now the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi is having mercy upon him. The time has come for him to be set free. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the gates of hell. Today he can see the gates of hell open. And when he looks at the gates of hell open, my young friends, he will muster the courage to leave Jahannam. He will begin to crawl on his belly. He will begin to crawl for a few yards. And after a few yards, he will make the effort to stand. He now stands and he begins to walk a few yards. He's walking falteringly. He can see the gates of hell open today and he will begin to crawl on his belly. He will crawl for a few yards. He will make the effort to stand and walk. With difficulty he will stand. He will take a few steps. He will walk falteringly. The fire of hell will scorch him as he's leaving. Again the Pichara will stumble. He will fall. But today, my young friends, he's been there for millions and millions of years. He can no longer tolerate the punishment and torture. He can see the gates of hell open. He can see freedom with his eyes. He is thinking freedom. Today, there will be nothing that can stop him from leaving Jahannam. And like this, he will crawl, he will walk, he will stumble, he will fall, he will crawl, he will walk, he will stumble, and he will fall. And like this, he will leave the fire of hell and get outside Jahannam. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and the thought hasn't crossed the mind of any human being. If this is what the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi, the maker of these blessings is saying, then how can I explain the true nature of these blessings. Can you imagine you're standing before the Lord of the worlds? The being that has the power to do anything, he just says, Kun, be. And within a zillionth of a second for your Kun, it's there. You're thinking something in your head and the thing is already there. This is the being that you're standing before. And he's saying to you, you know what? Tamanna, ask for whatever you like. I'll give it to you. So he's probably thinking, you know what? When I was in the dunya, that Range Rover wasn't too bad, was it? Which one? I'm like, you know that Discovery? Which color? I like the green one. You want a Range Rover Discovery? Here it is. He's walking around, roaming around in paradise, when all of a sudden, <laughs> A palace made out of a diamond will be brought before him. Now he'll walk in front of him 
and he will open the door to his palace. Believe me, you'll forget Buckingham Palace. I know you Londoners, you understand, you're very, mashallah, passionate about Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace, you know, I ain't got a problem with it, it's a good palace. But believe me, it's nothing in comparison to these guys. So he's opened his palace, and you know what? Everything in this palace will be of diamond. All the doors are of diamond, the keys are of diamond, everything is of the same diamond. And in every room you will find couches. You know, you'll, you're not just a king, you are really a king. It will be said to him, you know what, look outside the window. So you look outside the window. It will be said to him, Mulkuka masiratu mi'ati am. You know, the distance that, be, that can be covered in a hundred years, the distance that you can cover when you're on a journey in a hundred years, that's where your kingdom comes to an end. Now this guy is now looking pretty good. Why? He's got a place in paradise 10 times bigger than the dunya.